This is the story that has really captured the attention of North Texans. 85-year-old Charlie Fink detained against his will by the state agency under the, an emergency protective order. Fink called Sean Rabb for help, and Sean is in studio tonight as we are all learning more about that state agency known as the Adult Protective Services and also Charlie Fink's fight. Sean. You know, like Children's Protective Services cares for the youngest in our society, Adult Protective Services does the same for the oldest. Now, while we haven't seen the court documents in this case, we do know the state believes that not only is Charlie Fink potentially a threat to himself and others, but that he can no longer handle the responsibilities of home. Mr. Fink today gave us permission to enter what he called his crowded home. Neighbors Kenny and Deborah McIntosh clean the cluttered home of Charlie and Edith Fink. Trash and treasure fill the couple's home. They're getting older, so it's hard for them to move everything where they need to be and dust high and stuff like that, which I can understand. 85-year-old Fink and 87-year-old wife Edith are now in a nursing home. We talked to Charlie on Thursday. No, I didn't want to go. I was struggling with her. And I bad-mouthed her at her, at her tattoos. Maybe I shouldn't, but I did. Edith removed by the state February 5th. Charlie this week after driving himself to Richardson Methodist for hernia surgery. A hearing was held Wednesday for the state to temporarily take custody of Fink after he was placed in the hospital psychiatric ward. One thing that troubled me about that protective hearing that you're talking about is he wasn't present. They, he was not present, according to your story, and he was entitled to be. Next week, the state goes back to court to keep Fink in its care for another 30 days. Attorney Jeff Henley, not associated with this case, says... You have to prove one of three things, that a person is likely to cause serious harm to himself or is likely to cause serious harm to another. Henley says they must also show that a person will substantially deteriorate without state intervention. What they mean by that is can this person um, feed himself, clothe himself, make decisions about his medical treatment, make decisions about his, his housing, uh, things of that nature. Adult Protective Services became involved with the Finks after an anonymous referral, part of state law to prevent abuse and neglect of elderly. The Finks have no family, but Kenny and Deborah McIntosh say they are like family to them. Give him one more chance. That's all I'm asking. Give him one more chance and bring him home and let us take care of him. Now, many of you have expressed concern and support for Charlie Fink on social media. We expect the state will testify next week that Charlie Fink is somewhat frail, his house a mess, and that he is not making responsible decisions because he wanted to go home from the hospital rather than to rehab after hernia surgery. Just one of the reasons that they'll cite that. I will let you know what happens. Sean Rapp, thank you.